here in Raleigh. And CBS 17's Haley Fixler is live at Wake Med. Haley, that is where we know four of the trauma victims were initially set. Yeah, Bill, and we know that one of the victims is still reportedly in critical condition here. And this is also where Raleigh police officers met to escort the body of the fallen off-duty officer to the medical examiner's office. Now, this is video you're watching right now from the processional earlier this morning, hours after state and local law enforcement officers first responded to the active shooting in Raleigh's Headingham neighborhood. It is right along the News River Trail. Here's what we know. People in the community called 911 around 5 o'clock last night when they heard a series of gunshots. Shots. It was soon after that officers realized there was an active shooter. We are told the suspect, a 15-year-old boy, avoided investigators for about five hours before police tell us he was captured nearby. He had already shot seven people, killing five, including an off-duty Raleigh police officer. Terror has reached our doorstep. The nightmare of every community has come to Raleigh. All of us in Raleigh right now need to come together. We need to support those in our community who have suffered a terrible loss, a loss of a loved one. We need to support the family of the police officer who was killed and also the police officer who was shot. Mayor Marion Baldwin thanked the officers who put their lives on the line to keep people in the community safe. Now, the Gun Violence Archive says this is the 531st mass shooting in America this year. We are expecting to learn more information about this deadly attack at 8.30 this morning. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News.